This is the opening here for pre-algebra. And this would be the lesson 1.1. And for the whole pre-algebra video suite or PowerPoint, you can get either one video or PowerPoint. Email me at that address and uh, I'll send you back a, either a catalog or other contact information where you can receive these PowerPoints. And then this is expressions and variables for pre-algebra here. There's your standards. This is your title plate for your students. This will be the bell work for this uh, lesson here, finding the sum and difference. It's very simple, but it's kind of like a warm up for your students to get them going, get their brains started up. The expressions and variables, what we'll be doing here. And I like the graphics in this lesson. It keeps your kids' mind, minds going. And it's about blue wells. We have a word problem about blue wells in the, in the homework of this lesson. About the number of tons that a blue well can eat in a given number of days. So there's good, there's good um, word problems within this lesson. And we start with a table here to put the this uh, consumption level of a blue well in a table. And I like this table because it separates the days from the tons of food eight. And there you finally derive your algebraic expression for the consumption level of the blue well. And then we get into a good note taking page here, which is in your class worksheet that you can get from that email address. I provide uh, classwork closed classwork lessons that teachers can use or sub teachers can use. And it's about numerical expressions and then going and throwing in a variable and a, and a numerical expression. And th this is a good slide to have a, a student read in the class. <clears throat> and then here's a vocabulary uh, slide here. And this is usually for the student's notebook here. They can put this in their notebook and study it before quizzes and tests. The, the vocabulary is very important for math. And these math lessons stress vocabulary a lot variable expression and evaluate. What do those mean? You know, that's what you ask your classroom. And then you can write it in yourself if you wish. <clears throat> and then verbal model is another. We go from verbal models into, into an algebraic expression. It's a good uh, uh, vocabulary term to know. Then we go into our first example here again, bringing up the well, where we uh, go from a verbal model to an algebraic expression here. And then we find out how much the blue wells eat in 120 days. It's a very simple algebraic expression, but uh, this is where pre algebra is here. First lesson in pre algebra, coming right out of sixth grade into this, their first class in seventh grade usually not necessarily and then here is a uh, the first guided practice uh, exercise in in class and then uh, they have their own independent practice that I have students do on their own <clears throat> and then I provide the um, the solution there after I try to get kids to come up to the smart board they can if nobody wants to then I can provide the solution to it. <clears throat> and then example two, we further evaluate expressions here. And that's shown how to do that by doing the algebra here. And then we go to another example here of a product. And then they're shown how that is solved. 
when you plug in values into your variables. <clears throat> and then another guided practice here, we did plug in different values there. I mean, uh, you could just call a student up to the smart board to do this, or uh, you could the guided practice as well as a teacher you could do that then we have another concept slide here where we have vocabulary where we are uh, you can solve real world problems by constructing a verbal model and then you use you assign math symbols to the appropriate words to the verbal model Then we have another table here for uh, words and phrases, which indicate different mathematical operations. And the fly-ins here, they are good uh, eye action. It'll keep your class stimulated. And then they're provided with a worksheet that's closed. It's a closed worksheet. They don't have to copy the whole slide, but they do have to pay attention in class. And if you're teaching this lesson in your classroom, you can stop the video at any time on the slide and let your students take the appropriate notes for it. <clears throat> Then we're going to write another variable expression here, this time about baseball. Number of teams, number of players, divided by number of players in each team. So, <clears throat> good summertime uh, World Series problem here. Number of teams, and then we find that by uh, going from our verbal model to our algebraic expression and then we get another guided practice that pertains to that and we get to write a variable expression represented by the phrase so we get a number divided by 41 and we get that <clears throat> i also have this is the opening here for pre-algebra and this would be the lesson 1.1 and for the whole pre-algebra video suite or PowerPoint, you can get either one video or PowerPoint. Email me at that address and uh, I'll send you back a, either a catalog or other contact information where you can receive these. 1.1 expressions and variables. Here's the title slide for it. Or if you're an individual student, if you're a, a homeschooler, you can uh, access the correction PowerPoints, which will provide all the solutions to tests, to homework, to, home, uh, to uh, quizzes. So that's all provided as well. We get a few word problems in here. <clears throat> Then we plug in here for homework. We're plugging in values here for the homework. And these are all pointed uh, differently here. Eight points for this one. This is the opening here for pre-algebra. And this would be the lesson 1.1. And for the whole pre-algebra video suite or PowerPoint, you can get either one video or PowerPoint email me at that address and uh, I'll send you back a, either a catalog or other contact information where you can receive 